Hello, I'm Dr. Thomas Jenemy, and today we're going to be doing. Hello, I'm Dr. Thomas Jenemy, and today we're going to be talking about what you can do before surgery to maximize your results. Surgery is a, a fairly decent insult to your body. If you don't treat your body like a temple before, it will not respond like a temple after. So I always say the following. Make sure you get plenty of rest for the two weeks before surgery, at least. Make sure that you don't undertake in any drug use. Even uh, marijuana or THC can be laced with either MDMA, cocaine-like residues, or heroin, and I've seen that come up. Most people say, well, I, I smoke, but I don't know how my urine came up for MDMA, which is basically ecstasy. If you have any of those, you will be canceled for surgery. They interact with some of our gases and some of our medications in surgery, so why would you take that chance? Also, we make sure that you're on enough protein, even ahead of time, because you need to build those protein stores up so you can heal these incisions. We make sure you're on a vitamin. Vitamins are key. Most of us don't get enough vitamins, and most of us don't get enough of the right vitamins for pre-op, intra-op, and post-op use. So we have our own vitamin pack made by Vitamedica, and it is awesome. It has thousands and thousands of percentage of B12, B6, C, and zinc that you, that you need. Also before surgery, just remember, you've got to get your environment ready. Board your dogs and cats or have something for them that uh, you guys can live with. You cannot be playing with animals after because animals are inherently dirty. They'll lick your fingers, you'll touch your incision, and then it's over, you get infections. You should also think about how much time you need off from work. Something like a liposuction needs less time. Something like a breast dog with heavy lifting starts to hurt your chest as you're moving and you can open your incisions. I personally say from a sedentary job, anywhere from five to 10 days. For harder jobs, anywhere from two to four weeks, depending on the surgery you have. So make sure that's really good. Make sure that somebody's gonna watch you after surgery. I know you guys sometimes put down, who's gonna watch you and then they flake on you at the end. Make sure that person understands that they're there the whole time. They can't just leave you there and then go out and get your groceries, especially the first 24 hours. That's something may happen. You may get dizzy. You may feel like you need to just call the doctor. Uh, so, you know, get all that stuff going. Uh, finally, we put you on a bowel regimen. Make sure you're taking enough fruits and vegetables so that you have regular bowel movements. We also sell what they call Surgilax, which helps you actually move your bowels as narcotics and morphine interfere with your bowels. There it is. Any more questions, let me know. See you soon.